feel like these are my favorite perfume videos to make or well, second favorite to like the sexy perfumes but this is so exciting because i'm sharing affordable date scents in my collection i feel like most of my perfumes are sexy and they can double up to anything i need them to be but i feel like it's good if i categorize them for date night daytime dates or nighttime dates. this would be really fun let's get into it it's really great that i will show you an affordable scent which is sort of like a dupe to a more expensive perfume so that you know that affordable is usually the great way to go when it comes to some of these perfumes now let me start with a great choice just so you know to get us warmed up and everything here i have seductive red by guess this is a cherry smelling like perfume grown sexy it smells similar to learn to d by givenchy seductive red by guess is actually 39 dollars australian dollars and learn to d rouge by givenchy is like 180. this is super affordable compared to this but the thing is they're both embery warm spicy this one has more blood orange, tuberose, that type of vibe. And this is just more like white floral, sweet florals. It does not have tuberose in it. They both have a tonka bean, vanilla, um, cherry type of dry down. That's what makes them similar, but oh, they're beautiful. You would have to respray this one, um, depending on how strong you want it to be, but it's so, beautiful it is a treasure you have to buy it this is an auto toilet and learn to Deve rouge is an auto perform affordable sexy nighttime cherry okay it gives me tom ford cherry vibes but not quite i want you to remember that this list is of affordable date scents you will be really excited about this next one this is seductive noir from guess this is so deep dark sexy um fishnet stockings heels black leather that type of vibe it gives noir coco noir chanel vibes amazing you know um this is a deep rose scent and this is more it's floral it has florals but very mature just like coco noir if coco noir was mixed with c by Giorgio armani less powdery but the florals in Giorgio armani c and the booziness that's seductive noir it's so sexy and everything you need this in your life any other perfumes i mention if you need to respray i'll let you know but look for what you're paying another 39 dollar perfume like australian dollar less if you buy it on sale if you you know all those things you can always find discounts but this is really really great respraying is not a problem if we have to respray we respray because you're gonna take a little toilet break or whatever you're gonna go to the powdery room um excuse yourself and you're gonna respray but not make it noticeable that you respray you know what i mean it's beautiful you have to have this in your collection now you guys know i love warm scents i love oriental scents i love deep scents however However, I do have some clean scents for more daytime um, appropriate perfumes for a date, you know, because we, we might go to brunch, we might go to breakfast and yeah, take a walk on the beach, you know, so we want scents that can take us through the whole experience. I'm going to start with all my nighttime suggestions. Now, Gourmand Addict, I will try and find the comment of one of my subscribers um i think that was like the first time she's ever commented 
on my videos and she said Goman addict you know she doesn't particularly like it because it's too strong for her but look Zara scents are not like long lasting I feel like if she really wanted to own Goman addict and if it's too strong for you you might spray your clothes and like leave your clothes for a little while before you wear them again you know maybe spray them and wear them after 30 minutes to an hour if you don't want the smell of Goman addict to be too strong for you or you know one spray um, yeah but I don't remember her saying she doesn't actually like it because it's actually very beautiful it gives me flower bomb vibes you know flower bomb don't you everybody knows flower bomb but it's an oriental sweet fragrance so oriental it has spices it has herbs and it has some white florals in there and it has a touch of sweetness so that's what makes it oriental it's beautiful and affordable so yes perfect for date night respray if you need to that's not a problem the only two juicy couture scents i have and the only two i am happy to own i don't feel like i need to dwell more into juicy couture because these do everything i need them to do this is gold couture and this is viva la juicy noir and these are perfect date night scents this is more caramel sweet goodness thick and syrupy this one is more like clean citrus and yeah but i think they're both date nighttime scents mainly well this one has to be nighttime i think the point is this is more floral citrus you know and this one is more syrupy caramel so you decide um, what you want to smell like but I love both of these if I was going on a date today which one would I select I think that because it's cool outside I'd probably wear gold couture because it's syrupy sweet it's very nice so love these now this one here puts me in the pink sugar wait this is the strawberry one the original pink sugar um, caramel sugar goodness they're in the same family and you know pick one or the other because they smell very similar um, yeah and they're great date night scents affordable affordable these are gonna be staples in my collection these pink sugar ones this is also in the same family as gold couture um, caramel sugary goodness delicious viva la juicy noir almost smells like la nuit trésor to me um, minus the creaminess in la nuit trésor especially the initial spray La Nuit Trésor the dry down is creamier than Noir but they smell very similar I'm not surprised they're both in my collection most of my perfumes all smell sexy and they can take me through any situation so Always Red is a floral musky um, beautiful rose beautiful rose there's a berry smell in there that's very dark and it's beautiful it gives me Narciso for her vibes but obviously this is darker and just oh and this is brighter but the muskiness is the same same family all right I'll suggest two more night times so this is Pomme d'Amour by Tutti Delicious and it's great it's a great pear pear and lemon scent this is beautiful I think it's great for nighttime or even daytime because sometimes when I'm 
choosing a perfume for nighttime, I like to do the opposite. <laughs> so nighttime, sometimes I want to smell fresh daylight type of smells, like bright. It's really weird. When I'm feeling like being different, I'll spray this pear and lemon scent. It's very sweet. It's beautiful. And sweet like candy is also smells like candy but lighter and grown it smells similar to something and i just can't think of it right now but it's clean and very sweet like it's citrusy sweet at the same time it's really actually very weird it gives me this fantasy electric fantasy by britney spears this is a day or night scent it is well-rounded so it's clean fruity floral not too much fruitiness but it's the floral there and it almost smells a bit green you know so it's beautiful for daytime dates next i have wonder rose wonder rose is a citrus rose it's very clean perfect for daytime it smells like coco mademoiselle the original as you can see i'm getting through it and people always think i'm wearing coco mademoiselle when i'm wearing wonder rose by zara next perfume is one of my new um additions to my collection this is daydream by all fresh in french um this is so pretty It's a grown fruity floral. It reminds me of one of my Maison Lancome perfumes, actually. Yes. And it also smells like Chanel perfumes. You Ever fragrance, passionate rose. This could be a day or night scent. Now, this next one is Nuit by Zara. This is Lily of the Valley. So it's floral, grown, sexy. Mm. I feel like this is so likable, but I have to be in the mood for it. Oh, I feel like I could, I wish that I could give those to you and you guys smell them and give them back to me. <laughs> I wish you could smell this through the camera. But Lily of the Valley and it can be sickening. That flower can be really, uh, but it's done really nice here. It's a beautiful nighttime scent. It's called Nuit, so, you know, um, yeah. Ariana Grande Cloud. Is in this video because as you know we compare it to Baccarat EDP and honestly they smell similar but definitely not the same sugar smells like sugar This smells like <sighs> if sugar had a peel, if sugar came in a fruit form, the peel of a sugar would smell like cloud by Ariana Grande because it's much sharper and citrusy. Um, Baccarat is much sweeter and more warm. They're both warm, but obviously Baccarat is on a different level, like different level. Um, but yeah, this would be a great day or nighttime date scent, affordable. The dry down 
is warm spicy slightly sweet but it smells really grown I feel like if this was not if this was an extracted version it could even be a Chanel perfume you know those ones that come in the rounded bottles like this yeah I feel like it could definitely you know pass as a Chanel perfume or something like that um, just because it's it smells really nice I will list all these perfumes in the description I hope you go look them up and try them but definitely all of them are worthy to be in this list get one depending on your preference in scents and you will smell beautiful on your date and for an affordable price and that's what we want don't be afraid to respray if you have to I mean for $39 or below we can't get mad about respraying once or twice during a date you know what I mean so when we're selecting affordable perfumes for a date honestly I don't really think many guys care how much a perfume was if you smell good you smell good you're gonna get compliments and it's always how you wear it I feel like when you let a perfume settle in to your skin or into your clothes most of the time you can't tell whether it's you know expensive or cheap it's mainly the difference of alcohol concentration or oil concentration in the perfumes so when you give a fragrance time to um, you know lose the alcohol for the alcohol to evaporate you're left with the true scent of the perfume and nobody will be able to tell whether it's cheap or not when you smell good you smell good and your date isn't gonna care as much they're not gonna know how much your perfume cost so can we be honest for just a moment some of these perfumes that we're buying we're either buying for the hype or the brand name because some perfumes smell so good but because you've never heard of it you're just kind of like reluctant to buy it you don't really wear it or whatever but the hyped ones are said to be the best in the world but they are treasures in the affordable market as well and that's what we aim to find you gotta find those treasures for things like perfumes that you wear on a regular basis I it's great and it's easy to just hoard a lot of perfumes but it's things that finish you know you can't keep forever so when we're talking investment when we're talking all of those great things yes you're investing in yourself in how you smell but if you can cut the cost in some of the things that you need and use on a regular basis then do so especially when nobody can tell you know um yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it so i hope you enjoy watching them and leave me any suggestions if you have any i love my perfume collection because it has everything that I need if I need to be sexy the same perfume will do the job if I need to just be classy the same perfume could do the job I have great rounded perfumes and I'm always looking for affordable treasures out in the market so let me know if you have any more suggestions and I love to go try them I do blind buy some scents that have been recommended to me I go and I research about them I read the notes and they sound like you know something that I'd like obviously because you guys know me by now yeah take care hope to hear from you in the comment section and I will see you in the next video bye